In today's video, we're going to be talking a little bit about silver, a little bit about gold, a little bit about how inflation might be right around the corner, how I plan on using the precious metals to combat inflation, and I'm also doing a giveaway in the VIP club right now, and it ends on June 1st. Join before then to get entered into the giveaway. Link in the description. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well, feeling great, and staying safe. It's a great day to have a great day. Today, I wanted to talk about silver and also gold. I want to talk about the precious metals, a little bit of a spot price and gold to silver ratio update. But I also wanted to talk about how the signs seem to be pointing in the direction of inflation coming soon. We're going to get into it but really quick, just in case you're new. Make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there, go check it out. The link will be in the description. And if you want to get some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel, I would really, really, really appreciate it. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance, it's more than appreciated. But today is Friday, May 28th, 2021. That's actually not true. That's the time I'm posting the video, but as I'm filming the video, it's still Thursday, May 27th. I'm filming this video a day in advance. So unfortunately, I have no idea what the spot price is going to be as you're watching the video. So head on down to the comments and let me know. I'm always curious. But as I'm filming the video, silver is currently sitting at $27.68, which means it's up two cents. And gold is currently $1,890.30, which means it's down $6.50. The gold to silver ratio is currently about 68 to one. I thought that was pretty interesting because this entire week so far, and also late last week, the precious metals haven't really been moving in the same direction too often. Most days, to my understanding, from my recollection, Silver has either been going up while gold has been going down or vice versa. So it seems like silver and gold can't really seem to get on the same page right now. And by the way, I know there's birds chirping in the background. You might hear some cars driving past. I'm filming today's video outside because why be inside when you could be outside? It's just too nice out here. But I also wanted to talk about inflation. Now, some of you might recall I had been saying this for several, several months. People were asking me all the time, all last year, people have been asking me the first half of this year. They've been saying DYDSS, they're printing the dollar bill into oblivion. How in the world are the prices of everything not going up? Because we all know oftentimes when the dollar gets weaker, real true money gets stronger aka silver and gold, this is what we've seen time and time and time again. You print the dollar bill crazy like that, loses purchasing power, and we see the precious metals strengthen up, and the spot price just gets higher and higher and higher, but not right now. That doesn't seem to be going on right now. And by the way, when I say inflation, I'm not just talking about the spot price of the precious metals, I'm talking about everything. How come the price of food hasn't been going up very much? How come the price of rent hasn't seemed to have budged at all. How come the price of clothing at the store is exactly what it's been? How come the price of all these miscellaneous products and services are still where they've been since before everything fell apart last year, even though they've been printing dollar bills like crazy? This is what happens. When you print dollar bills like this, the price of everything goes up. I mean, not really, but the purchasing power of the dollar bill goes down and it just appears that the price of everything's going up. So how come they printed so many dollar bills, but the price of everything has pretty much been the same? Well, as I've been saying for probably, I would assume probably eight or nine months at this point, the reason the prices haven't bunched very much, I should say, the reason the prices have either not budged at all or barely moved is because no one has been doing any spending. I know everybody got a stimulus check and you know bought stuff that they 
maybe didn't need. Maybe they use it for rent and food. Maybe they use it on something stupid. I do not know. But regardless, $1,000 or $1,200 or $600 or whatever, that's not what I'm talking about when I say spending. I'm talking about regular, consistent, obsessive consumption like everyone was doing before everything shut down. Before everything shut down, what was everybody doing? A lot of people were buying new cars. They were going on vacation. They were staying at hotels. They were shopping. They were maxing out their credit cards. One could actually argue that before everything fell down, nothing was fundamentally wrong with the economy. Unemployment was way down. Employment was way up. People were working, people were spending. Everything was going pretty smoothly. And then 2020 happened and it came to an abrupt halt. So for the last year, a lot of shopping was cut off. A lot of people went into forced frugality mode. A lot of people refused to spend. A lot of people scaled back. A lot of people cut back. A lot of people for the last year have been doing without regardless of if they got their job taken away. See, if they got their job taken away, they really had no choice. They had to pinch pennies to make ends meet, potentially. The people who didn't get their jobs taken away, they were probably still pinching pennies as well in fear that they might get their job taken away. So for really the last 365 days, not a whole lot of spending was getting done. Nobody was going on vacation. Nobody was buying brand new cars. Nobody was buying new houses. Nobody was going on shopping sprees. We were going on stacking sprees, but that's about it. Not a lot of people were doing a whole lot of spending. Of course, anecdotal examples, of course, there are people who still spent like crazy last year, but the overwhelming majority, I'm talking about the vast majority when I say this, they weren't doing very much spending. So when nobody's doing any spending, when nobody's doing excessive amounts of buying, the prices aren't really going to move that much. And I've been saying this for over half a year. It's been pretty much a battle of inflation versus deflation, prices going up versus the prices going down, and it resulted in the price not really moving very much at all. It was being pulled in two separate directions, but now... If I had to assume, this video is just gonna be me speculating over here, because I have a little bit of an understanding of human psychology, and what motivates people and all that good stuff, and I see right now, more and more and more states are lifting their smile cover mandates. New Jersey, doing that today by the way, as I'm posting this video on Friday, no more smile covers. Also, by the way, can we all just take a moment to acknowledge and appreciate just how ridiculous and insane the title of this particular article is right here on screen? It pretty much reads, Hey, 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 New Jerseyans. Good news. Y'all can take off the smile covers and get close to each other again. I cannot wait to move out of this state. In New Jersey, second highest number of cases last year. So if New Jersey is lifting the mandate, you already know. Most of the other states are either doing the same thing or already did. So my assumption is this. If you take away the smile covers and you give people their jobs back, which is pretty much what's been happening. Smile covers are coming off. Places are opening back up. People are going back to work. People are going back to somewhat of a state of normality. You want to know what my honest expectation is for the next couple of months? I think people who just went the last year holding in this pent up need for shopping are gonna be running on top of each other. I think it's gonna be Black Friday every day for probably several weeks, maybe even several months. Now I'm over exaggerating a little bit. I don't think people are necessarily gonna be trampling each other and getting into fist fights over TVs like they did with toilet paper last year, but I think a lot of people are probably gonna go crazy. I think a lot of people are gonna be going full throttle when it comes to shopping. I think people are gonna be relieved that the smile covers are back off, the cases are down, jobs are opening back up, everything looks and maybe feels normal, almost as if 2020 never happened, 
we went from 2019, just skipped over 2020, now we're in 2021. Everything's good, everything's fine, everything's perfect, everything's sunshine and rainbows. And I think they're going to get right back to spending. Buying new cars, buying new houses, going on vacations, buying stuff that they don't need. Letting go of that do without mentality. Letting go of the penny pinching. And I think people are going to resort back to their old ways, a.k.a. go back to becoming financially unprepared if and when something else happens in the next couple of years. It's going to be 2022.0 because nobody learned their lesson. But regardless, I think people are going to get back to spending. And when people get back to spending, after a whole lot of dollar bills were just printed, I mean, keep in mind, 20% of the currency to ever exist was created just last year some of which was physically printed, most of which was digitally created, which is kind of scary if you think about it. But regardless, 20% of the currency to ever exist was created just last year. That's a lot of currency. You know how old our dollar bill is? So for 20% of the dollar bills in existence to have been created just within the last 365 days, that's horrifying. And to me, it's almost like a disaster waiting to happen. The only thing that needs to happen is for the overwhelming majority to really get back to that obsessive consumption. We have an obsessive consumption-based economy. We need people maxing out their credit cards. We need people buying things that they don't need. We need people racking up consumer debt. We need people being reckless and irresponsible. That's what we need. Shouldn't be, but that's what the economy kind of relies on if you think about it. The dollar's backed by debt after all. So you can't really be all that surprised by what I'm saying. So if I had to assume, I think the price of everything going sky high is really right around the corner. I don't know how long it's going to take. I don't even know if I'm correct. I might be wrong, by the way. I've been wrong in the past. I'll be wrong again in the future. I don't think I'm wrong on this, though. I say give it maybe end of the year, to early next year. Something tells me we're going to start to see the price of rent going way up. We're going to see the price of clothing going way up. We already have been starting to see the price of food at the grocery store begin to go up. I've been experiencing it. It almost seems like every week when I go food shopping, the bill's a little bit higher. And I'm a creature of habit. I pretty much buy the same type of food every single week. Same stuff, same amount of stuff. I'm still shopping for just one person, just me. I don't got a wife. I don't got kids. Just shop for me. I've got one mouth to feed. So how come every week when I buy more food, I'm spending more and more currency? It's because the prices are beginning to go up. And for the last couple of months, I've really only been seeing it at the grocery store. But guess what? That's where it starts. That's always where it starts. That's how it's always been. Food goes up first. We already see the price of gas going up as well. I'm just going to blame that on the Colonial Pipeline shutdown from two or three weeks back. Only time will tell if the price of gas stays up high. But regardless, something tells me the price of everything going up is really right around the corner. And like I said earlier in the video, oftentimes when the dollar bill gets weaker and we lose purchasing power and the prices of everything goes up, guess what else typically goes up? the precious metals and if anybody's interested in joining the precious metals vip club it's where i can do things on my own terms not on youtube's terms my terms i'm hosting privately held live streams they're smaller and easier to manage i'm posting exclusive vip only adventure vlogs i also do giveaways discounts personalized promo codes shout outs deal alerts when silver and gold is on sale on a variety of different websites and of course, you can watch all of my videos early and commercial free. Come join the Precious Metals VIP Club. It'll be the first link in the description. You're invited. I'd be happy to have you. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to hit that subscribe button like a Karen hits a bus window. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Bunch of brand new videos over there. I posted one about China banning cryptocurrency, one about AT&T cutting its dividend, other videos about real estate, videos about silver, videos about gold, and a 
bunch of others. Go check them out. The link will be in the description. Trying really hard to hit 3,000 subscribers. We just hit 2,000, and I appreciate that. And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products. T-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations, such as the recently released Kraken Stacken t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug, inspired by the beautiful two ounce silver Kraken coin, which by the way is helping us raise a little bit of funds and awareness for ocean cleanup charity organizations at no additional cost to you, it comes out of my pocket, not yours. And of course, last but not least, the brand new DYDSS Karen Free Zone t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug. My name is not Karen. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know once again. What are your thoughts on everything that I shared in today's video? Do you think I'm correct? Do you think I'm incorrect? Do you think that even though the smile covers are coming off, even though places are opening back up, even though people are getting back to work, they're making their currency again, maybe they're going to choose not to spend anyway. Maybe even though we appear to be on track to somewhat of a recovery, still people are going to hold on to every little dollar. Not going to be doing any spending. They're going to let the entire summer go by sitting inside i personally don't foresee that happening i'm sorry i think people are going to be spending like crazy this summer they're going to be making up for lost time they just went a year without buying anything they're going to go crazy head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you tomorrow and remember don't you dare stop smiling peace